नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण इल्यूमिनेटिंग
beads of sweat wetted his face all these decorations intensified by the wounds dealt by my sharp arrows were enjoyed by him let my mind thus go unto shri krishna the lord is the absolute form of eternity bliss and knowledge as such transcendental loving service to the lord in any one of the five principal relations namely shanta dasya sakya vatsalya and madhurya that is neutrality servitorship fraternity filial affection and conjugal love is graciously accepted by the lord when offered to the lord in genuine love and affection shri bhishma dev is a great devotee of the lord in the relation of servitorship thus is throwing of sharp arrows at the transcendental body of the lord is as good as the worship of another devotee who throws soft roses upon him it appears that bhishma dev was repenting the actions he committed against the person of the lord but actually the lord's body was not at all pain due to his transcendental existence his body is not matter both he himself and his body are complete spiritual identity spirit is never pierced burned dried moistened etc this is vividly explained in the bhagavad gita so also it is stated in the in the puran it is said here that spirit is always uncontaminated and indestructible it cannot be distressed nor can it be dried up when lord vishnu in his incarnation appears before us he seems to be like one of the conditioned souls materially encaged just to divide the asuras or the non believers who are always allowed to kill the lord even from the very beginning of his appearance kans wanted to kill krishna and ravan wanted to kill ram because foolishly they were unaware of the fact that the lord is never killed and the spirit is never annihilated therefore bhishma dev piercing of the body of lord krishna is a sort of bewildering problem for the non devotee atheist but those who are devotees or liberated souls are not bewildered bhishma dev appreciated the all merciful attitude of the lord because he did not leave arjun alone although he was disturbed by the sharp arrows of bhishma dev nor was he reluctant to come before bhishma's death bed even though he was ill treated by him on the battlefield bhishma's repentance and the lord's merciful attitude are both unique in this picture shri vishwanath chakravarti thakur a great acharya and devotee in the humor of conjugal love with the lord remarks very saliently in this regard he says that the wounds created on the body of the lord by the sharp arrows of bhishma dev were as pleasing to the lord as the bites of a fiancee who bites the lord's body directly by a strong sense of sex desire such biting by the opposite sex is never taken as a sign of enmity even if there is a wound on the body therefore the fighting as an exchange of transcendental pleasure between the lord and his pure devotee shri bhishma dev was not at all mundane besides that since the lord's body and the lord are identical there was no possibility of wounds in the absolute body the apparent wounds caused by the sharp arrows are misleading to the common man but one who has a little absolute knowledge can understand the transcendental exchange in the chivalrous relation the lord was perfectly happy with the wounds caused by the sharpened arrows of bhishma dev the word vividyaman is significant because the lord's skin is not different from the lord because our skin is different from our soul in our case the word vividyaman or being bruised and cut would have been quite suitable transcendental bliss is of different varieties and the variety of activities in the mundane world is but a perverted reflection of transcendental bliss everything is this material world is qualitatively mundane it is full of inabilities whereas in the absolute realm everything is of the same absolute nature and there are varieties of enjoyment without inability the lord enjoyed the wounds created by his great devotee bhishma dev and because bhishma dev is a devotee in the chivalrous relation he fixes up his mind on krishna in that wounded condition hare krishna